Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So <laughs> I wanted to do a life update since a lot has changed since I last talked to you. I did do a day in my life video to kind of give you like a little sneak into um, my life since giving birth to my baby boy. I feel like my voice is kind of off, but yeah, I gave birth to my baby boy on February 5th that morning. It was a Sunday morning and everything has just been going so great. But I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys and tell you um, everything that went down for any, of you, for any of you that are interested. Since I did film throughout my pregnancy, I did all my pregnancy updates and, um, you know, videos just revolving around that. So I thought, you know, if any of you want to follow along um, on this journey and uh, see this new life come into the world, um, you know, I just felt like that would be fun. So he was born on Sunday, February the 5th at 11 past, or <laughs> 11 minutes past 5 in the morning. So I had woken up on Friday morning. I woke up at like 4 a.m. or something because I was in so much pain. Like I had been having Braxton Hicks contractions for weeks, which you've known if you watched my pregnancy updates. On Friday morning, I just felt like something was different. Like I woke up from this pain, it was intense. But I knew that around noon, I would be going in to see, sorry, my hair is just bothering me. <laughs> at noon, I would be going in to see my um, gynecologist or you know my doctor that had seen me like a few times before so I don't know what it's called but he's going to like poke around and see if he could get things moving he would like poke at the amniotic sac or something like that so um, to kind of get things moving which people have different opinions on but I was pretty much willing to do anything like I had been trying to get things moving so this was a, a day past my due date my due date was February 2nd so this was on February 3rd so we went in and he like poked at the amniotic sac type of thing I was still in like pain but the contractions weren't like regular or anything so then around that afternoon things got really intense, the contractions were really regular and we like tried waiting it out as much as we could but they were getting really really regular like a few minutes apart so we called the hospital and came down that evening. They like hooked me up and were like you know looking at the contractions and everything but um and they said that the contractions were really regular but my dilation was pretty much none like i was at one centimeter or something so what they did that evening at the hospital was they gave me morphine and another drug called i think bricoline or like something like that that was supposed to like slow down the contractions so that i could sleep because they were like you need to rest you need to sleep because we know that the contractions are, you know, they're hard and they're really consistent, not dilated enough um, to go into active labor. So they gave me those drugs and me and my boyfriend spent the night at the hospital. Uh, we got a really nice, like, um, bedroom, pretty much. Like, I passed out. Like, I was so, like, the drugs really work on me. Like, as soon as I got the morphine, I was like, ugh. So <laughs> they were, like, shocked. I woke up at around 9 a.m. that morning. Sorry, mom life. <laughs> I woke up at around 9 a.m. that Saturday morning and I was really pissed off because they didn't check on me until like 12. Like I was always going out there like asking, you know, is there a midwife that can check on me, like see if I'm dilated or what's going on because the contractions were really slowing down. Like I was not really feeling anything, which really pissed me off because I wanted to be going into labor. I wanted it to be like, this is happening. But now that I got these drugs, uh, they just really slowed down and then nobody was telling me, you know, that's normal or, you know, that's supposed to happen or whatever. So that was kind of annoying and me and my boyfriend were like really anxious just waiting there until noon and then a midwife came. I wasn't really having any contractions, she checked my dilation and uh, it was still at like one or two centimeters so 
she just told us to go home because if we wanted to wait the hospital it could be a really long time so we just went home and then at around 4 p.m the contraction started like kicking in hard and we decided we wanted to wait as long as we could until we went to the hospital because you know waiting at the hospital is not much fun and we had already been at the hospital for such a long time at around 7 or 8 p.m we went down to the hospital again and that time i was at four centimeters i think so they say you know things were really kicking in my contractions were really consistent they were only like a few minutes apart and really strong and everything was just kind of you know going so they put me in a birth suite so we got the nicest suite at the hospital it was so nice um it had like this huge tub and a lot of space like it was a huge room which i was so happy about she asked me if i wanted to take a bath which i did so i went in the bath and i stayed there for a few hours and i had some gas and air which worked great on me i was really just happy because i was scared of trying it because i had heard a lot of stories of women who got nauseous from it and i was so afraid of being nauseous i was scared to try the gas and air but once i did i was like yeah this is working great so i had that probably for a few hours like at no time sense whatsoever so So I had that for a few hours and then I had to pee so I went out of the tub and then I didn't really want to go back in it so like I was kind of like over it so So I'm back with baby boy as well Hey Hi. The lights are really bright for him so I'm gonna try to get through this as quick as I can. Um, so after I got out of the bath, I went to the toilet and my water broke as I was peeing. Like, it just exploded. Like, you could hear a balloon pop. Like somebody was spilling water out of a bucket or something. So, you know, my midwife thought it was so funny. I don't think she's ever seen someone um, had the water break into the toilet <laughs> like I, I had no idea my water was about to break i was just like i need to pee and went to pee and then like <sighs> that was all good and then i got an epidural which was just really really nice like i just i don't regret it at all i thought it was the best choice for me especially since i had been in you know having contractions for such a long time i was just really really tired really quick easy I had no problems with it it didn't hurt at all and then once the epidural was in I was able to rest a lot more because I was tired it had been a long 48 hours or so um, and I was getting pretty exhausted so I just actually managed to sleep my boyfriend thankfully brought an iPad so he could watch a whole movie while I was sleeping through my contractions like, that was nice it definitely helped a lot and then I woke up and she was like, yeah, you're at eight or nine centimeters. If you want to try pushing, we can try. So I just started trying pushing and he was out an hour and a half later. But during that hour and a half, a lot of complications came up. His heartbeat went down with every contraction. So they were getting ready um, to roll me into emergency C-section, which... Um, I was really relaxed about it. like I was really calm I didn't really I wasn't really scared at all which was good because if I had been like panicked things would have been a lot worse but they had to hook him up um, to monitor his heartbeat and see if he was in distress or anything and uh, it looked like he was skipping a few heartbeats and it was just it was kind of traumatic but I like I, I don't know why I remained so calm. I just felt like everything's going to be all right. Um, and I guess maybe it was just like a self-defense mechanism to not be panicked because I just wanted to enjoy um, everything because everything had been going so great. So they hooked him up. A lot of doctors came in to see us, but everyone was really like calm. They were just like, you know, we need to just monitor him and like 
at one point she said if nothing happens uh, in 30 or 40 minutes we're gonna have to roll you into a c-section and i was just like yeah so that definitely gave me like an extra push to push all of a sudden like everything started happening so fast so when he was crowning that was when it really hurt for the first time and yeah i felt like it was like that for a while and you know she let me touch it and i could feel his hair and it was just so crazy and intense and it definitely like you know felt like this is real it's happening and this baby is going to be out in a few minutes i don't know it was stressful having his heartbeat being so irregular but i just i don't know i knew everything was going to be great and it did turn out to be great i think it's getting hungry yeah i think i'm gonna feed him again and i'll talk to you again <laughs> this is the longest i've ever taken to film a video so this video is taking me such a long time to film because he's been constantly wanting to drink and then he's been vomiting a lot and pooping and you know everything that goes on so um and I had dinner in the meanwhile so yeah finally being able to sit down again hopefully and they had to like hook him up to uh, this heartbeat monitor like it wasn't enough having this thing like on my stomach they also needed to go inside hook his head up to something um to be able to monitor it better and she had to take some blood tests from his head while he was inside and it was just a lot of things happening because they were really just getting us ready to go into emergency c-section um, I don't know why I remained so calm throughout it all. I was just like so chilled. I knew everything was going to be okay. And even though I had to be taken into a cesarean, I just was so calm about it all. I just went into this birth, um, this delivery so calm and so just prepared for everything. Um, so yeah, they hooked him up and his heart was skipping a few beats, so they were really obviously nervous and uh, at one point she said like if nothing happens within 30-40 minutes, when I was already started pushing, um, she said we need to roll you out and um, yeah, thankfully everything went great, he was born at 11 minutes past 5 um, he came out in one push, which was so intense. Like when he was crowning, he was a while crowning. Like it was, I felt like forever because that was the only time I felt real pain. Um, but yeah, he came out in one push, which was so crazy. Like that's the craziest feeling I've ever felt. Him coming out just like, pew. so he went straight onto my stomach. Um, his umbilical cord or like my umbilical cord his ours <laughs> uh, was wrapped like um not around his neck but like around his body and he also came out with one hand with him so that was also a cause of like a major pain like when you hear that you get an epidural you won't feel anything that's not true it helps with the contractions but once the baby is coming out um you are going to feel a lot so um that was tough but you know i managed through it um obviously <laughs> you just need to you need to push through and yeah came out in one push with his hand like this went straight onto my stomach he peed on me <laughs> uh, he got a k vitamin shot i think it is i got a shot for like contracting everything back in um the placenta came out really soon, like really, really soon, and there was no problem at all. And yeah, my memory card is just pretty much running out. So <laughs> the placenta came out really soon. We got to look at it, and it was amazing. That was like such a highlight. Like obviously the baby was the highlight, but it was also great seeing the placenta. I'm really just interested in that, and how can you not be like that's the source of your baby's food and nurture and everything he was 3248 grams which i'll convert into pounds here and 50.5 centimeters long which is just the perfect length and weight for like a 
it's just my ideal like if I would have picked a baby this is how it would turn out <laughs> so that was great I was really just happy with that so my memory card was full and I can't delete anything because you know it's baby pictures and everything and um, so <laughs> Um, like I said, everything just went really smoothly. We were rolled onto uh, like a, this, you know, other room, and we stayed there for about 24 hours or so. No, 36 hours. Sorry, so one and a half day. Um, so we stayed overnight, and yeah, everything has just been going great. But I'll do a one month baby update and like a postpartum update, so you can kind of get a more um, detailed update on that. So that's all. I know this video has been all over the place because obviously I have a newborn to take care of. So, um, and when you're breastfeeding, you can't like your partner can't take care of everything. So I need to like be able to jump back and forth. Anyways, I'm excited to do the update and do a name reveal and everything. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more updates and videos and everything. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.